Fisher is back, but you might not recognize him. He brings the same skills and some awesome new weapons to the game, but watch his steps. Splinter Cell is now a double agent. I'll tell you how to handle him right now on Cheat. your video dossier of games, tips, and tricks. I'm Kristen Holt, and in today's briefing, I'll share all of our current intelligence on Sam Fisher. The hero of Tom Clancy's video game series is an elite operative of the third echelon, and America's secret weapon in the covert war to protect the nation's security. Now for the bad news. He's not just working for us anymore. Sam Fisher makes something of a dark return in the newest edition of the Splinter Cell series, Double Agent. It's business as usual for super spy Fisher until his daughter Sarah dies tragically in a car accident. This sends Sam into a downward spiral full of whiskey and back alley brawls. Is that all you got? Come on! Lambert gives Sam his most dangerous assignment to date, hoping the challenge will snap Sam out of his depression. He's going deep undercover to collect information on the separatist terrorist group John Brown's Army. After six months in the clink, you befriend Jamie, a member of JBA, I got a plan to get us out of here. who asks for your help busting out during a riot. This is when you're first introduced to the new feature in this edition of the series, the trust meters. Now take this stuff and get your ass moving. Both the NSA and JBA have trust meters at the bottom of your screen that fill up or deplete depending on your choices, actions, and timing. Y'all can handle that, right? Some decisions you make could add trust to one meter, but take some away from the other. So plan your moves carefully. After you save Jamie's ass, he brings you to the JBA headquarters to meet the gang. Right off the bat, someone doesn't seem to like you very much. What do you want me to do? Die. But that's not an option. Thankfully, he's not who you need to impress to stay alive. Emil, the leader of John Brown's army, quickly gives you the first test of loyalty. I'd like you to meet Cole Yeager. He asks you to kill the pilot of the news chopper you hijacked during your escape. A man's life is in your hands. Do you become a cold-blooded killer to keep your cover? Or do you follow NSA protocol and let the real bad guys do the dirty work? Oh man, if you're gonna shoot somebody, why can't it be the cheesy weatherman? Your flight leaves in 30 minutes. Where am I going? You'll find out when you get there. I can understand the stress Sam Fisher is under. I couldn't imagine working for two bosses. Here's how to keep your cool as you infiltrate the JBA. Listen, Moose. It's Moss. Get it right or pay the price. As a deep cover agent, you'll occasionally be given assignments back at home base for John Brown's army in between field assignments. They always give you more than enough time to complete them, but the trick is the NSA wants you to gather secret information from the compound while you're supposed to be working. I usually only get busted playing Minesweeper. The second time you play through the JBA headquarters, you'll begin the level in a back alley after a secret meeting with Lambert. Hop over this wall and sneak back in the garage while the two henchmen are distracted. Once inside, Enrico will lead you to the station where you're told to assemble 10 bombs for an upcoming mission. You're given 25 minutes to complete them, but you only need two or three, which means it's time to do some spying, Mr. Fisher. After you complete your assignment, move back into the shadows and equip your laser microphone. Sample both Enrica and Emil's voices through the window while they have a conversation on the stairs. This gets two out of the five voice samples the NSA wants right off the bat. Once that's done, blast through the mine assembly. Just try not to break too many detonators. When you're finished, use the recording you've just made of Emil's voice to open the voice-activated lock and head upstairs. Jump up and use this pipe to crawl across the ceiling and avoid the security camera in order to get to Enrica's office. You'll need a code to enter the office. It's 1337. Somebody really should smack the leak speaking nerd who wrote that one. Sneak around to the other side of the room, turn off the computer, and search the file cabinet in the corner. Sneak out, climb across the pipe again, and continue upstairs to where the bedrooms are. Turn off all the lights for cover and pick the lock to Jamie and Dayton's room. Dayton is asleep in his bed, so be very quiet while searching both cabinets for personal files. 
Keep your laser microphone handy because Dayton tends to yell out in his sleep and that's your best chance to sample his voice. Sneak back into the hallway and make your way to Enrica's room. Search the file cabinet on the right, then head into the bathroom and out the open window. Cross the courtyard and climb up onto the balcony to find an open door into Emil's office. Avoid the safe at first and move around Emil's desk to search the file cabinet against the wall. Then go through the door on the left side and into his bedroom to search his personal files. Now you can make for the safe, but don't crack it. Instead, hang back in the shadows and whip out your laser microphone to sample Jamie's voice while Emil shows him the blueprints. After he leaves, Emil will sit on the couch alone. And if you're daring, you can crack the safe and scan the blueprints then. Otherwise, just wait until he goes into his room. After you close up the safe, make sure you leave through the front door. Sneaking out the window and back through Enrica's room will end your mission early. Next, check your map for Moss's location and follow him around a bit until he looks like he's heading to the common area. Camp out in this dark corner and keep your laser microphone sights on him. You can sample his voice while he grills his subordinates. Report. Finally, grab the pilot's body from the infirmary and bring it downstairs to the furnace like Enrica asked you to do. If you've got extra time, you can run the training course again or try to beat the high score at the firing range, but don't bother unless your JBA trust is running low. Now, just make sure you're back at the mine assembly area in time to meet Enrica and you'll pull off a sweet 100%. See, straddling the line between good and evil is rewarding. I like your work, Fisher. Don't worry, we have more exciting missions for you after the break. We'll even explore the multiplayer options in Splinter Cell Double Agent later in the show. But first, here's a handy quick cheat. No doubt Sam Fisher has smarts, but what he needs for this mission is hyper-intelligence. Then you have nothing to worry about. In order to infiltrate and destroy John Brown's army from within, He'll have to gather information by any means necessary. What do you want me to do? He's trained at interrogation techniques, so use them to get door codes, passwords, and other information the mission calls for. Sneak up behind your target and use the action button to drag them away. No need to go all Jack Bauer on his ass. Just keep him alive and he'll tell you what you need to know. I need something from you. The access code to the gate? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Light fluffy chocolate, you won't believe it has 45% less fat. Got any more? <laughs> Three Musketeers, also available in minis. I was working at a dead end job. All I did was work, work, work. I was getting old at the age of 21, so I made the decision to go back to school. At ITT Tech, it was like a big family, it was refreshing. There was a lot of hands on applications in my program. Now I work as an IT specialist for the federal government. I provide technical support for probation officers. I like teaching people. I like showing them that technology is our friend. My father is my best friend and mentor. I really went to ITT Tech because he never had the opportunity to go to school. And now he's very proud. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid programs for those who qualify. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. It's Erin Insurance versus the competition. Will she prevail? Overpriced auto insurance? Don't try to stick it to me. Don't worry, Erin. You've got insurance. At insurance, you save time when you buy auto insurance online. Without interference, auto insurance hassles, I'll take a pass. Quote, buy, print. Make it your goal to save time and money on auto insurance. Visit insurance.com today. Dude, it's 420. AOTS heads to Amsterdam. X plays trippiest games. 
and The Big Lebowski. Tonight, starting at 7 on G4. of Splinter Cell Double Agent. Now that you've made it through the JBA HQ, it's time to explore some of Sam's more challenging missions. I'll meet you on the Lido deck. It's time to take out a cruise ship. It's time to test those bombs you built back at JBA headquarters. Blowing up a cruise ship sounds as good a test as any. And with any luck, KFED's on board. Climb over the balcony in your room and move over to the viewing platform. Wait for the soldier to go back inside before you climb up and into the casino. Enrica will help you out by making one of the slot machines jackpot to distract the guards. Move up the middle of the room, past the rotating car, and pick the lock on the door to the stairs. Come on. Keep an eye out for the maintenance man and head upstairs to the bar. Go straight in and hide behind the second table until the guards move away from the aquarium. Rush behind the bar and follow it around to the other aquarium. When the coast is clear, head into the dark hallway and watch for the two guards near the elevator. After they pass you, use the elevator to get up to the pool deck. Enrica will let you know that there's a guard waiting for you on the other side of that elevator door. So climb through the ceiling and wait for him to go back to his patrol. Hug the wall on your left and wait for Enrica to turn the fountains on before you jump in the pool. Wow. Swim to the other side and get out on the left side of the hot tub. Climb up the pole that leads to the upper deck and wait for the guard above you to turn his back before you book it to the steam room. On your way in, hit the light switch and wait in the dark for the two guards to investigate. Go straight to the back of the room and jump up into the air vent. Before you crawl out on the other side, wait for the guard to go to the soda machine. While he's distracted, use the door code 2112 to get to the bridge. Go down the stairs and hide underneath them until two officers head upstairs. Now, just sneak around the control consoles to avoid being detected by the third officer and head to the glass door. Grab the zip line, slide down to the rear deck and into the engine room. To appease the NSA, make your way around to the other side so you can place a smoke bomb in the air vent. Just don't forget to knock out the camera first so Enrica can't see you do it. Hop over the rail and hug the wall on the left side of the engine room. When the guard turns and heads in your direction, loop around to the other side and pick the lock. Once you're in, move to the back to place the bomb and hack the detonation frequency. Nice work, Sam. When you're finished, check your map to see where the guards are patrolling. We suggest taking a left and moving under the deck where you place the smoke bomb. Hug the wall and watch for any guards before you pick the lock and lower your diving platform. Now do your best triple gainer into the briny deep and you're swimming away with 100%. Now you can take your favorite cheat episodes with you wherever you go. Visit g4tv.com slash podcast for clips of this and other G4 shows. We'll have lots more Splinter Cell Double Agent action for you right after the break. But first, check out this quick cheat. Protecting America is a tough job. I can't talk about it. Just trust me. It's really tough for Sam Fisher, who must stop a terrorist organization from killing Americans. To do this, he has to kill all the terrorists. And this time around, the folks at Ubisoft have added some really cool ways to do it. When you're in Iceland, swim under the thin layer of ice so you can't be seen. As you see the terrorist, reach up and pull him through the ice. Then put him on ice. See what I did there? On ice? God, I'm so funny. <laughs> Let the next Virtua Fighter tournament begin. You'll enjoy this, trust me. Gold Award, EGM. One of the best fighting systems ever made, IGN. Five stars, Editor's Choice, GameSpy. Looks awesome and plays equally well, PSM. 
Virtua Fighter 5, the new look of real fighting. Available now on the PlayStation 3 Computer Entertainment System. Rated T for teen. You paid for 300 horses. Are you sure you're getting all of them? Choose Q from Quaker State. Q's patented heat-activated formula fights power-robbing friction better than any conventional oil to help maximize power and let all your horses come out. Q from Quaker State. Unleash all your horses. When I signed up for Vonage, I was able to keep my phone number, and then when I moved, I was able to take it with me. Call quality is the utmost. It projects my business. And with Vonage, it's perfect. Vonage and reliability, that just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long distance. Call now and get one month free, including free calls to the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Europe. Call 1-800-866-1279. You ever think you might have worms? If your computer is slowing down or crashing or just acting weird... E-acceleration with the full power of stop sign can make it like new again. Stop sign gives you virus protection second to none. With a spam blocker and spyware remover. Pop-up blocker. And the stop sign firewall for all the protection you'll ever need. Guaranteed. You may be infected and not even know it. Go to stopsign.com for a free virus scan now. Before the gremlins get you, get progressive. Number one in motorcycle insurance. Are the credit card bills closing in on you? Shouldn't this be the year you get a fresh start? Well, now you can settle your debts with dignity and without bankruptcy. Get the professional help of the Debt Reduction Law Center and get a fresh start. I just sign up. They do all the real work. The Debt Reduction Law Center uses the power of legal professionals to settle your debts. We'll get you an affordable monthly payment and settle your debt so you'll have hundreds more each month. For a free consultation, call 800-951-1732. Call now. The ultimate test of strength, agility, and courage. Ninja Warrior, weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30, only on G4. Welcome back to Cheat Splinter Cell Double Agent Dossier. You certainly have your work cut out for you in single player mode, but even Splinter Cells get lonely. Here's how to make the most of your multiplayer experience. Mission way. Let's go. Still haven't had your fill of espionage? Well, Mercs vs. Spies multiplayer returns in this edition of Splinter Cell, so you can prove your secret agent status to your friends until the wee hours of the morning. Bringing your team to victory in this battle of wits requires stealth, teamwork, and quick reflexes. If you're a spy, here are some handy hiding places. And if you're a merc, well, here's where to find some spies. Sorry, spies. The game's called Double Agent, remember? In the map Blackwing, run up all three flights of stairs, down the hall, and climb up the ladder to get to the roof. From here, you can use one of two zip lines that take you across the courtyard. If you take the one on your left, it will lead you to the side of this building. From there, you can slide across the wall and climb on top of the AC unit that leads to the ventilation shaft. Crawl through and stop at the second opening on your right for a decent view of the red terminal. Inch up slowly until you're within range and start stealing those files. The red terminal is being hacked. When you're finished, head back out the way you came and grab the zip line above the AC unit outside. Jump across to the catwalk and follow it around to an open window where you can get back to your insertion point downstairs. To get to the yellow terminal, slide down the zip line on the right, climb down the ladder, and jump up into the opening leading to the large room with the blue terminal. Sneak on top of the ventilation shafts and make your way around to the roof of the room containing the yellow terminal. 
If you inch up close enough, you can hack the terminal while remaining invisible to the naked eye. But you're not invulnerable, so keep your wits about you. Once you've got the file, get back on the roof the same way you came in. Leap over the alley between the two buildings so you can shimmy over to the AC unit and take the zip line back to your insertion point. In Boss House, jump up and crawl through the windows in front of you to get on the roof and access a zip line. From here, you can crawl into the attic where you can access the red, yellow, or blue terminals. The red terminal is on your left through a small ventilation shaft. This leads you to a platform in the room containing the red terminal and a good hacking point. But you don't have much cover, so be prepared to run. Back in the attic, make your way to the other side of the roof and break the glass skylight to access the yellow terminal. You're fairly exposed here as well, so be ready to flee at the side of a flashlight. The blue terminal is on the right side of the house, tucked away in the corner of a study on the ground floor. Since the terminal has very few angles from which you can hack it, you'll most likely leave yourself wide open for a merc attack. So once again, be prepared to book it. To get back to the insertion point, get out on the roof where the zip line first dropped you and head to the right. Climb over to the other roof and take the short zip line across to this doorway. Rush in, jump up, and crawl through the vent. Run around back to find another zip line. Jump on the AC unit, climb into the window, and run across to the next room where you can climb up through a hole in the ceiling right next to your insertion point. Mission complete. When you start in the map Dawn Wave, climb on top of the shipping containers and up to this I-beam. Crawl across to this point where you can access two zip lines. Take the one on the right to be dropped on the roof of the room where the red terminal is. You can climb down a pipe to crawl into the ventilation shaft, but it's small and easily targeted, so this isn't a great place to camp out. Climb back up to the roof and take a flying leap towards this pipe and vent so you can crawl inside the main building. Follow the ventilation shaft around the right wall until you can just see the small room with the yellow terminal in it. Once you smash the windows, you can hack it from a fair distance. The yellow terminal is being attacked. This might delay your detection, but won't prevent it since you're not behind any cover. With your stolen file, continue hugging the right wall around to the other side and take this exit. Climb up the red and white pole to access a zip line that takes you back towards the shipping containers. Take one last flying leap from the top of these containers to clear the gap and return the fruits of your spying endeavor to the insertion point. For victory! Well done. See, everything's more fun with friends. Even Black Ops missions where your life is at stake. We're going back into the headquarters of John Brown's army when Cheat returns. But first, here's another handy quick cheat. To play at Sam Fisher's level, you need skills and smarts. Once you infiltrate John Brown's army, you'll encounter some situations where weapons alone won't help. That's where your wits come in. When you see a guard blocking your way, create a distraction. Toss a bottle, use your sonic emitter, whatever it takes. That split second when the guard's attention is off can mean the difference between life and death. Extra Winterfresh presents Remarkably Long-Lasting Moments. For flavor that keeps going and going, try the Cool Mint flavor of Extra Winterfresh Gum. before they happen. On April 27th... You could prevent a major catastrophe. He'll discover what you can do. You take this one, I'll do the rest. When you know what's next. You have one way out of this. That wasn't it. Next. Life is supposed to be a surprise. That would be nice. Rated PG-13 starts April 27th. 
Admit it, the best things in life are free. Like this cool new Xbox 360. Everyone wants one, and best of all, you get yours free. That's right, free. Look, if you're over 18, just go to tvfreexbox.com. Enter your email and shipping info, click on a few amazing offers, and then follow the redemption and eligibility requirements, and your free Xbox 360 will be shipped directly to you. It's that easy. Don't believe it? All right, check out the website for details. Go to tvfreexbox.com now. One deserted island. Twelve determined auto insurance executives. Only one winning policy. Want to save hundreds on auto insurance? Let insurance companies compete for your business. At insurance.com, you can compare quotes from top companies, then buy the policy that's right for you. Lowest price guaranteed. May the best quote win. Visit insurance.com today or call 1-800-880-U-WIN. This summer, Gamevision is hitting the streets of America with their smash hit, Crosswalk. Crosswalk. Now you are the car. Crosswalk. Mow down pesky pedestrians. Obliterate pets. And check out the parade route. Get Crosswalk. Crosswalk. New from Gamevision. This game has not been rated. Gamevision. Welcome back to Cheat's Briefing on Splinter Cell Double Agent. You've worked your way up as an operative in John Brown's Army Terrorist Organization. Now's your chance to get inside the headquarters. Wear something nice. Back at the JBA headquarters, you're hardly given a moment's peace before Emil and the NSA start pulling you in two different directions again. Ah, uh, the work of a super spy is never done. Decrypting the email for Emil is trickier than it looks. You'll have to fill the entire cube with a series of numbers without repeating any digits in rows or columns. Start with the top row all the way around, choosing a low number on the left and a high number on the right. Next, fill in the two spots on the left side of the top and bottom faces of the cube using the same strategy of one low and one high. Then just fill in the rest of the spots with any numbers that fit. After you're finished with the binary Rubik's Cube, you'll notice that the NSA has added collecting fingerprints to your list of objectives. Hopefully this won't turn into a creepy CSI episode. On your way past the door to the server room, turn off the light and scan next to the keypad to collect Dayton's fingerprints. Next, make your way upstairs and into Enrica's office. Hack her computer to get the detonation frequency so that later you have the option of blocking it. Once you're out safely, head over to the bedrooms and scan both Jamie and Enrica's bedside tables for their prints before you head towards the surveillance room. Use the prints you've lifted to get past the door to the armory and surveillance room. After Moss and Jamie spat, break into Moss's room to search his personal files and scan the fingerprints he left on his locker. Just make sure to hide inside the locker if Moss shows up to pound on his heavy bag. Damn, Fisher! Something about that guy. Man, this guy's got issues. Avoid the guards and cameras on your way to the surveillance room by hugging the wall on your right. Creep in and hide in the shadows until Moss goes in his office and the guard he was talking to moves to the computer on the right. Sneak behind him and hack the one on the left to get visual proof of the bomb upstairs. Go back to the dark corner and hit the light switch to get the other guard out of his seat so you can sneak into Moss's office. He's fairly distracted, so just bear to your right and slide behind his bookcase to get to his filing cabinet and computer. On your way out, go back to Enrica's room and climb out the window to the courtyard. Climb up to Emil's balcony and wait for him to go into his room before you enter his office. Scan his desk near the safe to find his dirty fingerprints all over the place. How you spend the rest of your time is up to you. If your JBA trust is low, the training course is open for another run through and there's a new high score to beat at the firing range. Just make sure to get back to the computer room on time. You really don't want to piss off a meal. Now come on, it's time for the fireworks. Now the question before you is, whose orders do you follow? Nuke the cruise ship, block the frequency, or blame Enrica for the failure? Who knew blowing up buffet tables and deck chairs could present such a moral dilemma? And that's all the cheat you're getting out of this girl for now. 
If you missed any of these tips, visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash cheat. Or you can write to us at cheat at g4tv.com. Until next time, I'm Kristen Holt, and you've been cheating.